This is the Sylvanas list that I am running right now. We are running Sylvanas, the Banshee, the Ghoul, the Warsong Raider, the Sink Pilot, the Angry Chicken Army, and the Smoke Bomb. So the whole idea of the list is to play our Warsong Raider and to cycle it with our Smoke Bomb so uh, we could actually get the Warsong Raider to the base and get a lot of damage in. And now that we do not have the Fortification Modifier active, uh, towers are actually much weaker to uh, the Warsong Raider. So we can now rush the left side, left base with the Warsong Raider if your opponent overcommits on the right side and then take it with just a Warsong Raider, right? So we have Smoke bomb in the list the smoke bomb helps with a lot of stuff like i just mentioned it helps with the warsong raider to um, reach the tower but we're going to see that it also helps with sylvanas and the banshee uh, a lot so i'll go quickly over every single unit real quick uh, for, so first of all, our leader Sylvanas, we run Sylvanas with the Black Arrow Talon. This is uh, very important to run this Talon because this is our only tool against the uh, old Murkai lists because it's pretty much our only splash damage uh, unit here other than the safe pilot, right? So we have safe pilot and Sylvanas with the uh, Black Arrow Talon to uh, deal with uh, some some uh, swarm units, right? So uh, very, very important to play this. Savannah is also very good in this list because we are running Ghoul, we are running Banshee, we are running uh, the Warsong Raider, all of which will get the passive buff from Sylvanas, which is Windrunner, Warchief, uh, where they gain 30% extra movement speed when they are near Sylvanas. So this will help our Warsong Raider to connect to the enemy base, which is very, very uh, good, right? So 30% uh, extra movement speed on the Warsong Raider is very, very good. So, guys, what's it's, what is important to note in this list, okay, is that we are going to play completely defensively. This is the hardest list that I've ever played, okay? Uh, you have to play perfectly, but if you play perfectly, it is so satisfying. But if you do a single mistake, you are down like four gold um, with a Benji or a Sylvanas, and then you just you just get wrecked with a single mistake. Okay, so very tough, guys. Please take time to learn the deck. Uh, it is very important. This deck won't be good at on the first time you guys play it. Please look at the gameplays. The um, the different games that I'm going to showcase here are going to help you guys understand a lot of the interaction here. Um, so yeah, make sure to look at the games. There, you need to learn every single interaction there is with Sylvanas, with the Bench, with Smoke Bomb, with the Angry Chicken Army, all of those um, which are very important. So anyway, Sylvanas. Sylvanas, when she dies, spawns a Banshee, right? So we run Sylvanas that spawns a Banshee, and we also have a Banshee. So what I realized is that if we play Smoke Bomb with these units, then the Banshee becomes actually very insane, okay? So in the meta, there is some Hogger lists. There is some Baron Riven theirs. There is some... Um, other Warsong Raiders, all of which are very, very weak to the Banshee. So if we play the Banshee and then you Smoke Bomb, you can actually... Uh, take care of any big unit your opponent might play. So we have Sylvanas and then we have uh, our Banshee. Uh, Banshee, you can take any talent you want. I suggest going for Will of the Necropolis because uh, it's just easier to play. But if you're really good, uh, you can play Unholy Frenzy, which um, makes the target get bloodless. Uh, very, very good if you're able to keep the possessed target at full health before uh, possessing it, right? So Savannah's and the Banshee are going to get that boost from the Smoke Bomb. So what you do, okay, is you play your Savannah's. The second Savannah's dies, uh, you can play the Smoke Bomb, and then the Banshee will be stealth, and then will destroy and possess the, hopefully, the biggest unit your opponent has. So Smoke Bomb needs to be played so well, because if you don't play the Smoke Bomb correctly, if you wasted it on the Warsong Raider or something else, then your Banshee is just going to get destroyed. You won't get that value. So very, very important to play the Smoke Bomb correctly. So if you guys are not familiar, I'll just explain. The Smoke Bomb uh, gives stealth to uh, the minis that are affected. You could play Through the Shadows, or you could play Strangers in the Night. Strangers in the Night is an interesting one, okay? Because if you are extremely good, that's why this list is so hard to play, guys. If you are very, very good, you could stealth all, every single unit except the one you want to possess. Except the one you want to possess. 
and then your Banshee is going to jump on that unit, which is an insane play to do. So uh, any of the two works really well. Strangers of the Night works better with the Banshees, so with Sylvanas and the Banshee. And then Through the Shadows works well with the Warsong Raider because it helps con uh, the Warsong Raider to connect to the enemy base. So any of these two should work correctly. Um, we also have the Ghoul. The Ghoul is there to uh, act as one of our biggest defense. The Ghoul is uh, our main tank here and we are going to use it to defend our bases. It's so good to tank while the rocket towers deal uh, do all of their work because uh, the ghoul is going to get so many bodies, keeps keeps feeding, and then um, it's just going to tank forever, right? So very, very good unit in this list. We are playing very, very defensively, so the ghoul is extremely, extremely important to defend. Uh, we play our Warsong Raider, and then we a lot of the time we are going to run out of gold, and we are going to have like a ghoul and a banshee to defend uh, against whatever your opponent plays. So... It is very important to play uh, the ghoul correctly. All of these units have to be played perfectly for the stick to work, okay? We have the Angry Chicken Army here. Angry Chicken Army kind of acts like a, a tank shredder, another tank shredder, uh, but it's also very good in defense. So that's why I'm playing the Angry Chicken Army. Uh, you could honestly play other stuff as well. I was running Chain Lightning to help with the Warsong Raider, but I found that uh, the Angry Chicken Army was just better for me because uh, I was able to defend just a little bit better. So that's why I'm playing the Angry Chicken Army. But for by all means, play Chain Lightning if you prefer to play that. Um, but nonetheless, I love the Angry Chicken Army. I think it's very good to defend. We are looking to defend with as few gold as possible um, whilst we get our Warsong Raider to push. We want to play some cheap stuff because we want to cycle our Warsong Raider as much as possible. So uh, that's why we try to keep like our Angry Chicken Army, our Ghoul, and our Smoke Bomb, which are all very, very uh, low cost. And then finally, we have Safe Pilot. I don't think I have to explain much more about the Safe Pilot. Safe Pilot is insane. Uh, it does so much damage when it crashes down and then uh, just deals so much more damage afterwards. It's so necessary in this list because of the fact that it's... Uh, our spell and our AoE unit, um, obviously, other than Sylvanas, if we play the Black Arrow Town. So, anyway, guys, please look at the gameplay. We are going to jump to some PvP games here. Uh, this list is very, very fun. I wanted to show it to you guys now that fortifications are gone because the Warsong Raider is much better to actually take that left base and do all of that. Um, but... You have to play perfectly, okay? So you, the first couple of games, you might get destroyed. But guys, it is so satisfying to play this list. If you play it perfectly, it feels like nothing can stop it. So yeah, once again, look at the games. We'll jump to the PvP games. We'll see you guys there. All right, we are against the Baron Rivendare list. We are going to play our Miner and our Ghoul immediately down the middle. And we will play a little bit passive. We'll play our Sylvanas here to defend the Prowler. Okay, so we do get control of the middle. Uh, I guess we'll try to slow them down. Doesn't work. But we'll play our Warsong Raider. We'll play our safe pallet next time. We'll play our safe body here. Okay. Can okay, we get in time? We got in time for one. You know what? We'll just push for the left side. We are against the Baron. This will make it harder for him to uh, rush us down with the with the sappers, and we'll have less skeleton pressure from the opponent. Here, our Warsong Raider is going to do some damage, though, even though it's not attacking the uh, enemy base. 
We'll play our Savannah's here. We don't want to get any more chip damage on us. Unfortunately, the Angry Chicken Army didn't get there in time. But, can we get control of the middle? This is good. This is good. We get the Baron Riven there. We get control of the middle. We'll send our uh, Angry Chicken Army here to support uh, the left base. That's pretty good. We are over leveled, so this worked to our favor. All right. We'll play our Benji here, and just like that, we'll take the win here. All right, we are against the Tyrion here. We'll play our Miner, um, and then I think we'll send immediately our Warsong Raider. There goes the Huntress. We will Smoke Bomb and hopefully get past in time we do. And now we are going to wait for the Huntress to connect before playing our own Banshee. We do get a free Huntress here. And then we'll play our safe here. So we played our Sylvanas here. If our Sylvanas actually does get destroyed, we might be able to... We smoke bomb here everything which allows us to steal the Tyrion and now we can play our Warsong Raider here we are super weak on gold though we are going to play our safe here on the Griffin Rider okay so this is quite a bit of damage. Uh, we are going to try to defend on the right with the ghoul. And we are going to hear the ghoul. Come on. There it is. I think that's a very good blizzard from our opponent. Can we hit both of them here? Okay, we align them. Perfectly. Okay, we get the gargoyle. So opponent does get a lot of damage here. We now know that he does have a blizzard. Okay, this is pretty good. We are going to play our Warsong Raider. We are going to use the Ghoul to tank. And the Banshee here. There it is. So this Banshee didn't get as much value as the other one. But... The first one gave us enough to deal quite a bit of damage here. We are so close to winning. All right, we'll send our Miner here down the middle because we do control the middle. We'll play our Sylvanas far back. And then we play our Warsong Raider. We're going to try to rush him down before. There it is. The Ghoul gets the win here. We take the victory. How satisfying was that? Whew! All right, against the Baron... Riven there. Okay, we'll play our Warsong Raider far back. We'll keep our Sylvanas for when our opponent gets closer. Because we don't want our Sylvanas to get um, safe piloted. So we'll play our Sylvanas now. Uh-oh. Well, it's, that was a big mistake on our end. Hopefully, it won't be too punishing. We'll even play our ghoul here.
Okay, so he already plays his safe pilot. Okay, we steal the Baron. This is good. Our Warsong Raider will connect even though it's frozen. We got two hidden. Three hidden. I think we just took the lead here, actually. Well, player Sylvanas here. We don't want to take any chip damage. He's going to play his safe here. He is. So there's the safe. Okay. We will send our miner here. And then we play our Warsong Raider. So he is probably going to polymorph. Yep. Yeah. So that was expected. So I did not expect the quill bore, which was unfortunate. Okay, we are going to save now because we know that he's trying to level up his gargoyle. Okay. I don't think we have to play our Banshee here. And we can play our Warsong Raider. Um, okay, that smoke bomb was a mistake for sure. Can we pull the... I was hoping we could pull the uh, Baron, but I guess not. But we might steal the Baron, which is great. Alright. Okay, here. I think he already played his safe, so we can play our Sylvanas freely. Can I get a hit? I got a hit in, which is great. We steal the cargo, which is fantastic. And then we take the win here, even though he played the blizzard. All right, we are against the Tyrion. We'll play our angry chicken army down the middle. We'll play our Warsong Raider now. Okay, we'll play our Sylvanas here far back. We kind of wish we had our safe pilot here. We'll play our Ghoul. Can we hit both Darks Patrol here? I think we can. All right. That's one. We did so much damage on the enemy base here. We'll play a miner.
We get rid of everything that was down the middle. And we have a full health level 8 Tyrion. We are gonna save. And then send our Warsong Raider down the left. We wanna add some uh, additional pressure here. Here. Uh, we are going to smoke bomb if the Dark Special focuses. The Banshee doesn't. That's a solid execute. Um, I actually didn't see that Prowler. We'll play the Angry Chicken Army here. It should shred that Tyrion. Then we'll play our own Warsong Raider, or our Warsong Raider here. And that should be it. We take the win. Okay, against a Baron. We'll play our Miner. He's level 9 across the board, which is going to... And he's playing Execute. This is going to be a tough matchup for sure. Get a little bit of damage in. He's going to prepare a strong offensive. I need to play my Angry Chicken Army on the Quillbore as he plays it. We'll play our Ghoul, so we actually did defend it this time. We'll play safe here, so he plays the Execute. We'll try to defend with the Sylvanas. We have our Smoke Bomb ready. Angry Chicken Army will actually be better than the Ghoul to defend. We'll play the Ghoul on the left. We do have a lot of damage on the opponent's base. He did play his Execute. We will try to... S uh oh, there goes some Sappers. Okay, we get rid of one of them. And... We take the win against this level 9 of Baron Rivendare. <laughs> wow, GG. Okay, we are against another Sylvanas list. We will play our ghoul with our Sylvanas here. Okay, so his Banshee is completely wasted here. Uh, okay, guys, so we are going to play our Banshee here. What happened? I don't know. Can we steal? Yes, we do steal his Sylvanas. Which is kind of hilarious, if you ask me. And then we steal the Ghoul. We will... And we, that eats the body, and then we play our safe here. And just like that, man, we have so much pressure already. Um, he has to defend with the left base. Okay, so there's a ghoul. Or a uh, banshee. And there it is. Our... Uh, what? 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 Okay, so we 
<laughs> we played our uh, Angry Chicken Army just to push back a little bit the Warsong Raider. And then he's probably going to play his Warsong Raider or his Banshee. And there it is. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a crazy game. All right, this is going to be our last game. We are against the Baron Riffin there. Okay. Our opponent does play Baron now. We'll play the Angry Chicken Army. We don't want to reveal our Banshee now. And now we could play our Warsong Raider. We'll play our Ghoul because we don't want any more chip damage. Um, should we Banshee this or... No, I think we'll just Sylvanas, forcing him to play his safe pilot. Drop our safe pilot. Here we should be able to defend. We are going to take back this uh, right tower here. Our opponent is sending the Baron over there as a defense. What is he going to play for the Warsong Raider? The Blizzard, okay. But I think we might have another Warsong Raider almost in rotation. We'll play our smoke bomb and then it, I think we have three ghouls here. Uh, we will save here his his safe. And hopefully we can connect here. We do connect. There goes the blizzard. We do get so much damage in here. All right. Um, We'll play our Miner. We'll play our Angry Chicken Army. Will our Savannas? Yes, our Savannas does engage here. We will just simply Banshee here. He might Blizzard. Now we'll send our Banshee on the left side, or our Gargoyle on the left side. And then we can send our Warsong Raider. And there it is. There it is. All right, guys, uh, this is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this list. This is a crazy fun list. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to do more, much more deck guides as uh, most, most of you guys uh, rather see more deck guides uh, than some uh, other content. So I might do like one video a week, which is other content, and then do more deck guides. Um, but if you guys do like the other type of content, make sure to tell me in the comments uh, and make sure to watch a video like of those videos. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that's my little bit of news, my little bit of update, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye, guys.